Today, we're testing the Lisa Oasis Chill versus our battery of 10 objective and data-driven tests, including our thermal cooling tests to see just how hot this mattress gets. The focus of this model's design is all around cooling. Lisa has added multiple design features in order to reduce heat buildup and provide a cooler feel. Is it just marketing nonsense, or do these cooling materials have a measurable impact? Let's go ahead and find out now. When we look at our performance scores, we see an excellent showing by the Oasis Chill. Nearly every category has a score in the high 9s or a solid 10 out of 10. The only exceptions are off-gassing at a 9.2 and motion transfer at an 8.9. Altogether, the Oasis Chill has an overall score of 9.70, which is a good deal above the average. Based on the 180 plus mattresses we've tested to date, the average score we found is a 9.52 out of 10. The Lisa Oasis Chill is available in two firmness levels, Cushion Firm and Plush. We tested the Cushion Firm, which is a 6 out of 10 with a medium firm feel. We estimate the Plush version of this mattress to be at a 4 out of 10, giving it a soft feel. Next, we're going to talk through what the Lisa Oasis Chill does best. First, true to its name, the mattress showed exceptional cooling performance. It did not retain significant heat, and it also had a notable cooling feel to the cover. Second, the edge support was fantastic while sitting or lying at the absolute edge. Its design includes reinforced edge coils that allows for great support in any position. Last, the Oasis has an extremely fast material response time. While not the absolute fastest, the recovery was nearly tied with the quickest we've seen to date. However, all mattresses aren't ideal for all sleepers. Let's talk through the important consideration points for the Lisa Oasis Chill. First, the motion transfer levels were a bit higher than average. It's not quite enough to bother most sleepers, but those sensitive to movements may be disturbed during the night. Second, the trial period is shorter than many other companies at just 100 nights. Your body weight and sleeping position impact the types of mattress that are best able to support you. Our analysis is designed to help match the correct mattress to the right body types and sleep positions. Support on the Lasis Oasis Chill Hybrid was excellent. I felt well supported in all sleeping positions. The mattress checks all the major boxes I look for. We have a 13 and a half inch total profile with 8.75 inches of support materials and a 4.75 inch comfort layer. All three of these material measurements are more than the averages we've measured, including 11.9 inch total profile, 7.7 inch support layer, and 4.2 inch comfort layer. While a thicker mattress isn't always better, in most cases it is. We see high quality and high performance coils, foams, and other materials at every level. The coil unit consists of 1,032 individual coils and three support zones. Zone support helps deliver more support where your body needs it, creating a more neutral spinal alignment. The material quality, in combination with multiple firmness options, means there are a wide variety of body types and preferences in addition to all sleep positions that can be well supported by the mattress. Be sure to visit us over at naplab.com slash mattress dash quiz. There, you can submit your needs and preferences and we'll send you back a personalized recommendation based on your inputs. Next up, we're going to move on to our individual performance tests. At NapLab, we test each mattress by analyzing according to 10 different factors that impact the feel, comfort, and performance. First up, we have our cooling test. To measure cooling, we lie on the mattress for 15 minutes, allowing it to absorb body heat. Then, we get out the mattress and take periodic measurements of the surface level temperature. Our tests show how the mattress retains and releases heat and overall cooling performance. Mattresses that breathe better, retain less heat, and sleep cooler are better as they allow sleepers to maintain a comfortable temperature. The Lisa Oasis Chill has exceptionally good cooling. In our test, it not only did not retain significant heat, but had a notable cooling feel to the cover. The mattress uses a layer of pocketed coils that bring ample airflow into the mattress. In addition, we have a copper-infused memory foam that further helps to manage heat retention. However, arguably the most significant factor in cooling performance is the cooling cover. According to Lisa, the cover is infused with cooling fibers to help maintain the ideal skin temperature of 88 degrees. In our testing, it didn't quite hit that 88 degree mark, but it did make a notable impact. In our objective testing, we measured a max surface level temperature of 91.4 degrees Fahrenheit. After getting off the mattress, the temperature dropped by 5.3 degrees from minute 0 to 1 and by 8.0 degrees from 0 to 5. Both of these measurements were a good deal better than average. When we look at the complete picture of objective data, subjective experience, and material analysis, 
I'm confident that most sleepers will find the Lisa Oasis Chill to be a sufficiently cool mattress. For the sinkage test, we rely on the mattress. In addition, we use a 12 pound medicine ball to test pressure point sinkage. Deeper sinkage can cause sleepers to feel overly enveloped by the material layers, while less sinkage can make you feel that you're sleeping more on top of the mattress as opposed to in it. Sinkage is a preferential factor. Some prefer more, others less. In our pressure point test, we measured a moderate level of sinkage depth at 2.19 inches. This is nearly identical to the average level of sinkage found across all mattresses tested to date. The mattress creates a balanced level of body contouring hug. The memory foam creates a little more of a hugging sensation, but it's restrained by the 1.75 inch quilted cover and 1.5 inch polyfoam layer in the core of the mattress. During our testing, I felt an even moderate and balanced hug around the body. It's neither too much nor too little. To test motion transfer, we place one 12 pound medicine ball on one side of the mattress and drop another 12 pound medicine ball on the opposite side. In addition, we use an accelerometer to objectively measure the motion generated by the medicine ball drop. Lower motion transfer is better as it helps sleeping partners avoid disturbing each other during the night. The Lisa Oasis Chill has a moderate level of motion transfer. In our test, we measured a total acceleration range of 9.32 meters per second squared. This is 10.2% more motion transfer than the average of 8.45 meters per second squared. The thick 4.75 inch comfort layer helps to absorb much of the energy on the mattress, which helps keep motion transfer quite restrained. In our motion transfer chart, which visualizes our accelerometer data, we can see the highest motion spikes from 0 to 0 0.08 seconds. Motion declines rapidly thereafter, and by 0.85 seconds, we've returned to near zero energy levels. Mattresses with the lowest motion are able to disperse all energy within 0.3 seconds. The Oasis Chill is far from that mark. Even so, the bulk of the energy is dispersed by 0.64 seconds. I don't expect motion transfer at these levels will be problematic for most sleepers. To test response time, we place a 12 pound medicine ball on the mattress. Once it's fully at rest, we then quickly remove it and objectively measure the amount of time it takes for the mattress to recover and resume its original shape. A fast response time is better as quicker responding material layers better adapt to your changes in movement and prevent any type of a stuck feeling. The Lisa Oasis Chill has an extremely fast material response. In our test, we measured a mostly recovered response time of 0.3 seconds and a fully recovered response time of 0.8 seconds. These are 0.11 and 0.04 seconds faster than the averages, respectively. While the recovery speed is fast, it's not quite at the fastest level we've ever tested, which is 0.2 seconds to most recover. The copper memory foam is a layer that slows down the total mattress responsiveness speed. The coils and polyfoam in the core rebound back to shape instantly. Even so, at these speeds, most sleepers will find the mattress doesn't create a stuck feeling and ease of movement will be a non-issue. To run the bounce test, we drop a 12 pound medicine ball onto the mattress. We measure the maximum depth the ball sinks to before rebounding up, as well as the maximum height it achieved on the bounce. Bounce is a preferential factor. Some prefer more, others less. However, more bounce is typically better than less bounce as it improves ease of movement, aids in response time, and improves sex performance. The Lisa Oasis Chill has a moderate level of bounce. In our test, we measured a total bounce height of 9.07 inches. This is 0.55 inches less bounce than the average bounce height of 9.62 inches. While the bounce is a little south of average, it's nothing I'm overly concerned with. Ideally, I like to see mattresses in the 8 to 12 inches range. At these heights, we see the major benefits, including ease of movement and sex, while also minimizing motion transfer. In my view, most sleepers will find this level of bounce to be perfectly acceptable. For an assessment of edge support, I lie on and sit on the edge of the mattress to measure the level of support and compression. Less sinkage while sitting and lying directly on the edge of the mattress is better as it creates a more supportive edge for sleeping, lounging, and amorous activities. The Oasis Chill has excellent edge support for both sitting and lying. In our sitting edge support test, we measured a sitting sinkage compression of 3.25 inches. This is 0.86 inches less sinkage than the average of 4.11 inches. Any sitting compression of four inches or less is great. Even when sitting directly on the edge of the mattress, I felt well supported and the materials maintained their shape. Lying edge support is equally as impressive. In our lying edge support test, I felt well supported in all sleep positions. The mattress creates great support in part due to two rows of reinforced edge support coils. These coils, in combination with the 13.5 inch total profile, material quality, and overall support of the coil unit in general, create ample edge support. Our sex test uses a weighted formula to assess sex performance. Higher bounce, more supportive edges are the most important factors, with noise, pressure relief, and cooling being less weighted inputs. Mattresses with more bounce, better edge support perform better for sex, as do mattresses that don't make as much noise and are more comfortable to lie on. 
For the Lisa Oasis Chill, these individual factors generate a sex score of 9.8. This mattress has moderate levels of bounce and excellent edge support. Bounce and edge support make up 80% of the sex score and are arguably the most important factors for ideal sex performance. This mattress is also very quiet, has excellent pressure relief, and exceptional cooling. Overall, great performance from the Lisa Chill. Our pressure relief test is a measure of overall pressure relief performance. We analyze materials, layers, thicknesses, density, and design elements in conjunction with a subjective assessment of our experience while lying on the mattress. Mattresses with better pressure relief are able to create a more comfortable sleeping surface. The Oasis Chill has excellent pressure relief. During our test, I did not feel any significant level of pressure point buildup. The mattress did a great job of remaining comfortable and relieving pressure, even during extended sessions lying in the exact same position. The mattress uses a 4.75 inch comfort layer, including a 1.75 inch quilted cover, 1.5 inch memory foam, and 1.5 inch polyfoam layer. This combination of materials creates an even and balanced level of body contouring, which helps create ample pressure relief. Looking at the material thickness, types, and quality, in addition to our subjective experiences testing the mattress, I'm confident most sleepers will find the Oasis Chill to have excellent pressure relief. To evaluate off-gassing, we assess the mattress following the initial unboxing, taking a subjective measure of any strong smells. We monitor the mattress over a period of days until the mattress no longer has a strong odor. Mattresses with a less strong odor and or an odor that dissipates more quickly are better. Off-gassing on the Lisa Oasis Chill was strong when we initially unboxed it. The odor took 10 days to fully dissipate. This length of time is about twice the average, but also not hugely concerning. The company score takes a look at the factors that may influence your experience with the mattress. Factors include length of the trial period, warranty, shipping costs, return costs, and country of origin. For Lisa, these individual terms and conditions generate a company score of 9.8. Lisa offers a trial period of 100 nights, which is a bit shorter than the 164 night average for a trial period. It also comes with a 10 year warranty. Of the 180 plus mattresses we tested to date, 27% have lifetime warranties. The average of the other 73% of mattresses is 14 years. Compared to this state, the Lisa warranty is shorter than the average. I would recommend the Lisa Oasis Chill for sleepers who are looking for a hybrid mattress with an emphasis on keeping you cool during the night. The Oasis Chill lives up to its name and provides exceptional cool performance. As far as its feel goes, I'd recommend it for those who prefer a slight hug and contour, but nothing that overly envelops one's body. It's a thick mattress with many layers, so I'd also give it a recommendation for its pressure relief and overall comfort. Furthermore, the Oasis Chill is designed with reinforced edge coils and it's great for sitting or lying even at the absolute edge. Finally, that edge sport combined with high bounce makes it fantastic for sex performance. At the end of the day, the Oasis Chill is a mattress that fulfills the promise to keep you cool with great overall performance score on top of that. Priced in the mid $1,000 range, it has an excellent value as well. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope it's helpful. Comments or questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the Oasis Chill, we've got a link in the description. For more from NapLab, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at naplab.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.